My name is Colleen and this is my kitchen. Believe it or not, this was me four years ago. I struggled with my weight my entire life. And finally, I came to the realization that diets don't work. By simply eating healthy and moving more, I was able to lose over 100 pounds. I started at a size 26W and within about a year and a half, I went to a size 12, no W. And best of all, I've now kept the weight off for over two years and counting. So now here I am in my kitchen showing you how you can eat healthy and lose weight just like I have. Because if I can do it, you can too. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight I have a really super easy dish for you. This is a great weeknight meal. It's gonna sound really gourmet and it kind of is, but it is absolutely so simple to throw together. It's gonna take you maybe about 20 minutes total to cook and prep the whole dish. We're gonna be making uh, tangerine ginger salmon and vegetables on papillote tonight. And what that means is that we're gonna use a French style of cooking where it's baked in the paper. So it's gonna steam inside that paper and create its own sauce. It's absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is. First thing we wanna do is preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I have this saute pan. I'm gonna go ahead and add about two teaspoons of all of their olive oil. You don't need very much. Now to that olive oil, let's go ahead and add one shallot that I've minced up. It's about oh, roughly three to four tablespoons. Then I have a piece of ginger, that uh, fresh ginger root about one inch in length that I peeled and cut into these little sticks. I'm gonna add that in as well. Stir that. Coat it up with the oil. Let's add a pinch of salt, just like that. And about a teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves. And these are so tiny, I don't even need to chop them. I'm just going to stir them in and they're going to shrink down as they cook anyway. So now I want to just let that cook just until the shallot browns up a little bit. Oh, about two minutes. The shallots are starting to brown up, so now let's go ahead and add one clove of garlic. I'm going to press it in. You can also mince it in. You know me. I just love my garlic press. And then I have half a cup of fresh squeezed tangerine juice. From three tangerines, it makes right about half a cup. I'm going to go ahead and stir that in and use my spoon to deglaze the bottom of that pan and get up all those flavor bits. And then I have a teaspoon of fish sauce I'm going to add in. It's going to add a little saltiness to the dish. And then I have a tablespoon of hoisin sauce. This is going to add just kind of a dark um, sweetness to the dish. I'm going to go ahead and use my whisk to really blend that in there. And now I'm going to continue to let this cook for, oh, about three minutes. I want it to reduce down a little bit. Our tangerine ginger sauce has reduced down until it's this nice kind of thick sauce. All I did was kind of let it boil on about a medium high heat, stirring it pretty frequently for about oh, four to five minutes and it got nice and syrupy like this. So let's set that aside. And let me show you how we're going to prepare these uh, paper packets. So first of all, you want to use some parchment paper. I have 20 inches of it and I'm going to take it and fold it in half right along the crease. Go ahead and open that up. And now this is going to be where we're going to arrange our food. I have two carrots that I've julienned up, two large carrots. Go ahead and take about half of those per packet. Then I have half a pound of fresh green beans. 
And I'm going to just season those with some salt and pepper. Just like that. Toss those up. And that's it. I'm not going to put any other sauce on it because the sauce is going to come from the fish. And I have here a half a pound of wild caught sockeye salmon that I've cut into two pieces. And I'm just going to lay one piece right here on top, just like that. And then we're going to take about half of that sauce and drizzle it right over the top of that salmon. For a finishing touch, I have a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to add some of those on the top. That's it. So when this cooks, it's going to steam inside the paper, and all of this sauce is going to combine with the fish and run down into the vegetables. So the vegetables will cook in this lovely salmon tangerine ginger sauce. It's absolutely delicious. Okay, so to fold this up, we're just going to Fold that right over the top like that. And I like to crease each edge, fold it over onto itself two or three times to get a nice secure fit. So it's one. I'm going to do this bottom one here. I want to make sure to fold it really tightly. So it doesn't come undone because this is what's going to help keep all of that steam in there and help it cook up. And then our last edge on this side, same thing. Crease that paper really, really well. Just like that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble the other packet and then the rule for baking these is you want to bake it five minutes or I'm sorry about 10 minutes per inch of salmon and the sockeye salmon is about an inch in depth so I'm going to bake it for 10 minutes. You want to make sure to get it right because once you open the paper packet there's no folding it back up. So you don't want to overcook it but you don't want to undercook it either. Our salmon has baked up, so now all that's left to do is to go ahead and cut open this package. And I like to use a nice pair of kitchen stairs to do that. And you know, honestly, I love to eat this right out of the paper. Just throw the whole thing on the plate. It's not the prettiest thing, but then you get all the bits of sauce. And that's it. Good for you, easy to make, quick, less than 20 minutes, and it's absolutely delicious. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy my meal. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time in my kitchen.